Well, more people are using earbuds and headphones in their everyday lives, and that's leading to more hearing issues than ever before. Apple recently released a study on tinnitus, which is a sound someone hears that others do not, usually a ringing sound in the ear. The survey conducted by the University of Michigan found more than 75% of the people who responded had experienced tinnitus in their life. Joining us now live is Dr. Kristen Connors, an audiologist with Prescription Hearing in Palos Park. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. So doctor, as an audiologist, are you seeing more cases of tinnitus and who is being impacted the most? Uh, yes, we're definitely seeing an increase in the last several years um, with the tinnitus, with people experiencing any sort of sound, ringing, buzzing, humming in their ears and it affects all ages. We're seeing and identifying younger um, age groups now, um, teenagers and people in their 20s and 30s, um, all the way up into their 80s and 90s experiencing the tinnitus. You know, so can you kind of give us an idea of what some of the causes might be? You know, this is a generation that's wearing a lot of those uh, uh, headphones and uh, earbuds, and um, is, that, is that part of it? That can definitely cause um, ringing in the ears as well as hearing loss if you're not careful at the, the limits that you're that you're exposed to meaning if sounds are too loud if the music is too loud or if you're on phone calls wearing earbuds or headphones and that conversation is too loud it can cause uh, ringing in the ears yes so we've been talking about this now for you know a couple weeks Lollapalooza it's here this weekend many people will be listening to music at a loud level for a long period of time some for four days straight what's your advice what should people do to protect their hearing do they need to since it's an outdoor music festival whether you're indoors or outdoors um, at, at, at concerts or, or festivals, the music can be extremely loud. Um, any sort of ear protection, whether it's the little foam plugs or whether it's over the ear headphones, um, obviously you're not gonna wear headphones like that when you go to Lollapalooza, but some sort of ear protection will definitely help. Is there an audio level on your headphones that you should keep it at? And what are some of the ways to treat this? You know, um, there are, uh, Apple, who, who did the study, um, you know, they're, they've got great, uh, uh, you know, uh, protectors on their devices, whether you set the volume limit on the headphones, whether you set the volume limit on your phone, um, where you can keep it below at a, at a more comfortable level so that you don't risk getting uh, tinnitus with uh, noise exposure. And, and, and what can you do? What are the treatments? Um, your treatments are um, uh, wearing that ear protection, having a hearing test done too. We always see patients that recommend having hearing tests done to see if we can identify any other underlying causes of the tinnitus as well. But otherwise, there really is no cure, is, isn't there? Unfortunately, there really isn't. Mm. Um, we look at certain medical conditions that can cause tinnitus and try to manage those and see if the tinnitus is either reduced or eliminated. Um, but no, there isn't, isn't a, a known cause. So it's tinnitus and not tinnitus, as I've been saying for, I don't know, 35 years? I know, that's what it is. It, is it like tomato, tomato? <laughs> that's the last question. <laughs> you know, it, it's either way. You could say tinnitus or tinnitus. Okay. Um, but we know what you're talking about if you come in and mispronounce okay. it wrong. <laughs> All right, that was the last hard-hitting question there. All right, Dr. Kristen Connors, thank you so much. It thank may, you. Thank you.